story takes place in the beautiful North Okanagan, but it could be anywhere in BC. The North Okanagan is characterized by its lakes, mountains, grasslands and ranches, valley farms and hillside orchards. Ah, uh, can we get to the meat part? Okay, okay. I'm guessing that you, like me, may be increasingly concerned with where your meat comes from. Like me, you may also be concerned about the sustainability of this industrialized food system. And, you like me, decide that you want to eat meat produced closer to home, raised by local farmers you know and trust, where animals can be animals, able to move freely and eat what they evolved to eat. But then it changes. The provincial government introduced the Food Safety Act and the Meat Inspection Regulations. The age-old practice of processing and selling meat from the farm has become illegal. The farmer must now have the meat processed in an inspected provincial, which is a slaughterhouse, so it can still be sold to as many loyal customers. So well, what's wrong with that? Many of the custom meat processors went out of business. We can't afford the costly upgrades to our facilities, they said. It's much too complicated to meet all the regulations. Some of the farmers got mad and were dismayed. How will I get my meat process? Will I earn enough farm income to maintain my farm status? And even more of their customers were mad or dismayed. 7,000 people even signed a petition to the provincial government in protest to the meat inspection regulation. Many people tried to get the government to change its mind. It's not working, they cried. Farmgate meat is safe. We have a right to choose. We need to preserve our family farms. The government told us it was working. They were helping inspected meat instilled consumer confidence and helped foreign trade. They had an agriculture plan that supported local food access. They were doing what British Columbians wanted. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, more farmers were going out of production. Many of them gave up. Processors were struggling with all the bureaucracy, red tape and escalating costs. And customers were not getting their meat. This is a sad story. How does it end? Well, that depends on you and me and the rest of BC. We can ask our provincial candidates to amend the meat inspection regulation to allow for uninspected classification for farm gate meat sales. This will help keep farming viable and sustainable in our province. Together we rise, together we rise, together we